beautiful details. Nairobi, full of life, full of beauty, but mostly full of questions. We've asked a question before, but never really got a solid answer. Why do men cheat? I think it's lack of communication. Couples just need to spend time alone and just talk. And talk until their issues are ironed out. It's simple. Men look for what they are getting at home. Ladies, if there's food waiting for him at home, he'll rush home every day. What do you mean, man? Good boy. If I had the answer to that, I'd write a book and be on Oprah. You want some more? Sure. Relationships in the beginning are perfect, like a flower that has blossomed and released its sweet scent. But life happens and the petals so soft start to dry and wither away. I'm all packed. Let's just talk about this for a minute before we make a huge mistake. It's too late for that. <laughs> listen, listen, I know, I know I made a terrible, terrible mistake. And I am so sorry. Hey, No, I love you, right? No, I love you, right? No, I love you, right? Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, well, I've got the best prizes. Uh, so, which one would you like? I think, uh, I think you're a size 6. Uh, I'm just looking. Uh, uh, so, uh, which one would you want? You know, I have uh, heels and, you know, uh, flat shoes, you know? Huh? No. Uh. No, no, thanks. No. I'm just looking. Okay. Hi. Um, excuse me, but I'm buying that shoe. Then why, why was it on the shelf? He was getting it for me. How much? Um, excuse me? Uh, 2,000. Hey, I had my eye on those shoes. 1,500. It's first come, first serve, madam. And it's 2,000. 1,700. 2,000. Fine. Fine. 2,000. 2,100. You've got to be kidding me. It was way less than that. Now we're going to overpay. So? 2,200. No. No. Could you please wipe that look off your face? This will certainly be you one day. Oh, is the house girl? <laughs> she quit. But I asked my mom to get someone else from Shucks. Problem is, I would have to train her and I certainly do not have the time for that. Yay, 
goodness, Nana. You actually did it. I don't want to talk about it. Omar is a good man. Hey, listen. You do not throw away a good man because of one mistake. But I'm the one who found out. I can't believe all this time he had a candle. Darling, in life, you'll just have to weigh the good versus the bad. Otherwise, you'll end up single and lonely for the rest of your life. Hey, look at me. I have a home and everything I want. Beautiful kids, plus Stuart returns to me and loves me the way I want him to. Everything else simply doesn't matter. Wait, Stuart has a glande. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone has faults. I dare you keep looking for perfection, while all you'll end up with is being single and lonely for the rest of your life. Hey, be careful. I mean it really, be careful. Okay, come in. Oh. Oh. The other woman, or as we call her, Clande, from the word clandestine, which means something that is done in secret. For Ayok, her secret wasn't done at night, but instead during her lunch hour. Because at night, Morris is at home, where he's a loving husband with a newborn baby. Yeah, um... Uh, I need coffee. Um, I'm in a meeting, okay? okay. Fine, I'll love you too. Hey, how about we go to Malindi for the weekend? Hmm, sounds like a plan, but sorry, I can't. Family get together to see the baby. Let's ring check. Gotta go. Have what she's having. How is the photo shoot? Oh, the usual stuff. Boring. What happened? Good from the look on your face. You know, Koki told me that there's no such thing as a perfect man. True that, very true. We never really got to talk about it. I didn't get to ask him why he had that affair. <laughs> Would it have made any difference if he explained why he was seeing this other woman for almost a year? Tell me, what did your lawyer say? Omar wants to sell his shop the magazine. What? I told you asking him for money was a terribly bad idea. But what was I supposed to do? I lost my job. For four years I couldn't find work. I tried all sorts of businesses. My goodness, I can't believe you. What? Didn't you just, didn't you borrow money from me earlier today on claims that you were stranded? You went shoot shopping, didn't you? These are not new. Frida, you have a problem. Nana, what happened? Oh, Omar is selling his share of the magazine. I guess now that they're over, he no longer sees value for it. What? He can't do that. That magazine is your life. I can't believe I was thinking about giving him a second chance. 
Maybe all this is just a ploy, you know. You storm into his office all upset, then hungry sex. Can you buy him out? It's only been six months. The magazine isn't making any profit. I've looked at the books over and over and I just can't afford to buy him out. I was hoping maybe in a year I could have paid him off, like half. What about a loan? Hey, Nana, you really need to figure out something soon. You either buy him out or you say hi to the new owner of Rush. 